Hey Amazon sellers, do you know the key difference between the hyper successful Amazon sellers and the rest? Well, the answer shouldn't really surprise you one bit and that the successful Amazon sellers, they're able to leverage off Amazon traffic to great effect. And in this video, I will show you how to properly set up an off Amazon marketing funnel between Google AdWords and Amazon attribution. And by the end of this video, you will not only be able to set a funnel that can get you a sale from off Amazon traffic, but also you are able to reap the brand referral bonus as well. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon PPC agency. And if you're interested in content such as this, where we geek out on anything Amazon FBA related, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, uh, before we get started, um, so I think a few setups that you need uh, for this to work uh, is number one, uh, you need to, I assume that you have a Google AdWord account set up. Number two, an Amazon attribution account that basically comes with your Amazon advertising account and assume that you are also a brand registered uh, professional seller. So you access your brand analytics, your, um, your brand analytics, and also have a seller central account. Okay. So there's really like two steps to this, right? Number one, you're going to set up your Amazon attribution link links. And then number two, you are going to create your Google AdWords campaign. And from the Google AdWords campaign, you're going to plunk down the Amazon attribution link and also its corresponding tags as the final destination of the AdWord campaign. And since it's using the Amazon attribution link, you should be getting the Amazon brand referral bonus uh, set up. And uh, when you do get the brand referral bonus, uh, basically the Amazon attribution dashboard kind of looks like this, right? So you can actually see uh, the total product sales and then you can see the brand referral bonus that we get. It's basically a 10% of the pro total product sales uh, that you get from the brand referral bonus, pretty neat. So uh, as you can say here, it takes like maybe two to three days uh, lag time for the brand uh, referral metrics to be able to uh, match the total sales. So, so yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, so if you're reading the leaves on Amazon, by Amazon ref uh, giving you that brand referral bonus, really just means one thing. Amazon want you to do off Amazon traffic, right? So it doesn't say that it will help you rank on Amazon, but I would be betting my reputation that it does. So I think nowadays being able to drive external traffic is really the number one way for you to rank against your competitor if it's everything else is equal in terms of price, in terms of review. Basically how your off Amazon traffic performs is the key differentiator between you and your competitors. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Let's set up number one, set up the Amazon attribution links. Uh, so you're gonna go to your Amazon attribution account. So that would be uh, under uh, advertising campaign manager. On the campaign manager, you're gonna go to measure and reporting, Amazon attribution. Now you're gonna set up your campaign. So you're gonna create a campaign. Uh, so the campaign name is, uh, you're gonna create manually here. Campaign name is uh, you know something that makes sense. Google uh, AdWords. The product I'm selling, so I'm selling a baby mount. Baby monitor, not baby mount, funny monitor. So ID is optional, and then I'm gonna select the product I'm selling. So this is the product I'm selling right here, baby mount. Uh, and then the ad group, uh, so I'm gonna do like ad group. Publisher, and then you're gonna go to um, Google AdWords, and then I think pre-selected uh, pre on search. The click-through URL is basically going to be uh, the destination URL. So that would be your product display page, uh, which, which would be this right here for me. So you don't really need to add another ad group. So, I mean, the other ad group makes sense if you like use a different strategy or, uh, you know, testing at different audiences. So to keep this uh, demonstration as simple as possible, again, this is not a fully uh, Google, Google AdWords uh, video. Uh, I don't want to make it like extremely long. Uh, I'm just going to create just one ad group. Okay, so once the ad group is, is created, you're gonna get, get an attribution tag. So this is a very important. You're gonna save this tag somewhere. And uh, once you set up the Google AdWords campaign, you're gonna plug it down. So let's go to our second step. That is set up our Google AdWords campaign. So before we set up our Google AdWords campaign, let's find the set of keywords that are working for me, then use the same exact keywords on your Google AdWords campaign. So let's leverage your Amazon advertising data. So if I were to go um, to um, measurements and reporting, go to um, Google uh, sponsor ads report. You are going to uh, create a search term report from your sponsored products on your Amazon advertising console. You're going to run that report. Once you run that report, it kind of looks like this. So what we're going to do, you're going to uh, analyze this particular spreadsheet, look for search term that does well for you. So for me, it seems like these 
three keywords this best. So let's just uh, use these three keywords to um, use for Google AdWords. So here is my Google AdWords account. So I'm gonna create a Google account by clicking on this plus sign button and then gonna create a new account and then go to the website traffic, uh, go to continue, go to search. Uh, so let's just do something like um, Google uh, Amazon attribution. Continue. So I'm going to focus on uh, clicks, maximum uh, click per bid limit. So I think you really want to set that. So I'm just going to put like one, the maximum that I would spend on each keyword. So if it, you know, you're not getting any impression, right? Just incrementally scale it up. But in the beginning, let's start with like a low amount and also limit our budget. Go to next. And that's very important. Uh, Unclick display network. So you basically want your results to only show up on your Google search only. Since uh, my destination uh, URL is .com, it's gonna be United States only. It's gonna be pre-selected on English, so that's okay. Next, and then he's gonna ask for destination, uh, enter a URL to scan keywords. Uh, so if you want, you could uh, enter your destination uh, URL to scan the keywords, but you really don't need to. So you kind of know the, uh, the keywords that you're gonna use because we kind of did our research ahead of time. So that would be the three keywords here. And uh, remember for um, Google AdWords, right? The actual exact match, right, are uh, the brackets. So you need to enter brackets like right here when you enter the keywords, right? To make sure they're exact match. So you really wanna go for the exact match to basically be really focused and targeted with your um, Google AdWords campaign. This right here, right, uh, final URL, is where you would put the new Amazon attribution link that I showed you earlier. So let's just like go back, right? So that would be like this one right here. You're just gonna copy it and uh, plunk it right on the final URL here. So the display path, you're gonna put like um, uh, baby something that really just describes your product basically as much as possible. And now uh, you're gonna write like at least uh, three headlines. Uh, I hate uh, writing copies. That's why I love ChatGPT now, nowadays. Uh, again, it, um, I also create a video about, uh, you know, using ChatGPT to create an Amazon listing. So I also gonna list that below. Uh, so I think people that really don't like uh, creating listing copies or any type of copies for that matter will uh, find that uh, truly useful. Okay, let's just use like the suggested. Okay, I'm you know um, I'm pretty sure um, if I spent more time on it, I could probably do a better one. But uh, for this demonstration, let's just do whatever. Yeah. Okay, so that is my three headlines, and then I need to write our two descriptions. Uh, Amazon choice. Okay, I'm just gonna like copy um, what it says. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That's pretty good. I like that suggestion. Uh, so you can also add uh, site links, callouts, if you want to uh, have callouts for your uh, phone number, for example, right? If you have like a proper business, uh, you know, you have a phone number, uh, you feel like you want to kind of put your social media information, you can also put that in the callout as well. So let's go to done, uh, just skip through. So you can click done, and then you are going to click next. So this is like a view, this is like a preview of what your ad would look like. Your budget for your campaign. So let's set that to $5. I really like to uh, keep it as low as possible in the beginning. Let's have like a few days of testing it and see where it goes. And then once we're comfortable, we can scale up to like $10, $15, $20, etc. etc. Okay, so it's gonna review it. So uh, once it's reviewed, no issues. Okay, no type of Okay, it's all right, I'm just gonna create a campaign. Um, so we're gonna click on publish campaign. I'm not too sure what's the issue here. But uh, anyways, um, once you publish the campaign in your Google uh, AdWords, there we go, it's set up. Um, so I think uh, once you put enough budget to it, uh, I think it's gonna like take like one or two days to uh, completely um, be um, enabled. So it's, so you can see here, it adds under review for one or two days, and then it will be shown on uh, Google search results. And uh, you could do a preview of the actual ad that you have already set up uh, under campaigns, the campaigns that you created. That'll be this one right here that you just created. Okay, so this is the ads. So uh, you can preview the ads right here. And uh, once you click on it, you can see that um, it's gonna go straight to your uh, product display page, but with the Amazon attribution tag. And once a customer uh, were to purchase it, it will show up in your um, Amazon attribution dashboard, right? And uh, when your product sells, right, it does look like this, when you're actually able to scale up your um, Google AdWords traffic and attribute a sale, you would also see the numbers here the number of total purchases, add to cart, click-throughs, right? And then also the brand referral bonus, which is 2% of your total product sales on your Amazon attribution. Okay, so that's basically the setup between your Google AdWords 
and also Amazon attribution. So to end off uh, this video, um, I just want to reiterate that off Amazon traffic is really such an integral part of Amazon selling in 2023, especially now that a lot of popular gray hack technique techniques to rank such as search find buy or super URL, those methods are made officially black hat, right? But for the sellers that is able to make the off Amazon traffic work, such as Google AdWords, Facebook, and also TikTok will be the winners. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business using Amazon PPC, schedule a call with me on the link below. And uh, until the next video drop, happy selling.